I am attorney Marie Chris Batan Lasco. This is my virtual classroom. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this channel, we shall aim to simplify the law. We shall explain concepts and principles of law in under 10 minutes. In this video, we shall talk about the sources of obligations. What are the sources of obligations? There are five sources of obligations. First, you have the law. Second, contracts. Third, quasi-contracts. Fourth, acts or omissions punishable by law. And lastly, your quasi-delics. An example of an obligation arising from law is an obligation to give support. When you look at the family code, it will tell you that if you have a, a, a child, then you are obliged to support your child. If you are married, then you are, as a husband and wife, you're obliged to support each other. This is an obligation arising from law. This is an example of such. Second source of an obligation would be your contracts. So if you enter into a contract of sale, as we have made mention earlier, then there is an obligation on the part of the seller to sell and an obligation on the part of the buyer to buy or to pay for the item that is the, uh, the object of the contract of sale. And then you have quasi-contracts. Very briefly, there are two types of quasi-contracts. One is undue payment and second is your unauthorized management. So, in undue payment, since the payment is supposedly not to be paid yet, then there is an obligation on the part of the receiver to pay back. How about an authorized management? Let's say, for example, you were out of the country, you were vacationing, and then um, your house was raised by fire while you were away and your neighbor tried to save as much belongings that he could while you were away. You did not tell your neighbor to do that, but by virtue of a quasi-contract, you are to um, give compensation for him trying or for him being able to save some of your belongings that is on uh, unauthorized management, which now becomes a source of an obligation on your part. Another would be, another source would be your delicts or acts or omissions punished by law. If you commit a crime, there are um, two obligations that are being created. One is your civil obligation, and then also you have the criminal um, aspect of uh, you will also be criminally liable rather so you have civil liability and you have criminal liability that is also a source of an obligation so if you uh, an example if you steal something then you are liable for theft criminally liable for theft you can be imprisoned at the same time there is civil liability you will have to return or to pay the uh, value of the thing that you stole plus of course any uh, fine that may be imposed by the court any penalty that may be imposed by the court and then you have your quasi delics or or your torts this is actually covered by article 2176 of your civil code this now talks about negligence on the part of one causing very simply causing damage to another so there is no contractual relation but by your act or your omission by your negligence you have caused damage to another then you are, there is now an obligation on your part. There is now a liability on your part to pay damages. So is there any other source of an obligation apart from the five that I have just mentioned? The answer is no. 
your civil code enumerates the five sources of the obligations. And there is no other source of an obligation apart from those five. Those enumerated in your civil code are exclusive. In other words, you cannot claim that there is an obligation if it is not from any of those five. Again, what are these five sources of obligations? You have your law, contracts, quasi-contracts, delicts, and quasi-delicts. Those are the only sources of your obligations. There is no other. That ends our very short and simple discussion on the sources of obligations. If you have learned anything from this video, please feel free to click like and subscribe. If there is any other principle or concept of law which you would want me to discuss in this channel, please put them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. See you next time in MBL Classroom.